the truth. Hey guys, what's up, Dream Machine Sam? Back with another video, and we have season four of the Patriots Rebuild. Uh, second to last episode that we will be having next season is a combination of season five and six. I didn't realize I was on season five until I literally played it, and I was like, oh shit, I just went through season five. And I was like, well, technically we didn't even do five seasons. Technically we did four seasons and an off season. So, you know, I extended it. So if you guys are new here, my name is Green Machine Sam. I do rebuilds, I do franchise modes, I do roster updates, stuff like that. When you guys are seeing this video, uh, it should be going up on a Thursday, I hope. Uh, new roster updates should be coming out over the weekend. Uh, that includes Madden 20, Madden 21, NBA 2K. Uh, hopefully I got a lot of stuff done on 2K. I don't have a whole ton done right now. I'm, get, I'm slowly getting through teams, making sure contracts are correct for the most part. Uh, making sure, you know, just little stuff here and there is okay. Uh, it's not the, these aren't the greatest rosters. I'm not going to sit here and say they are, but they do get you to the stepping stone of having players on the correct team with the correct jersey numbers, with the correct overalls for the most part. I will be doing something with 2K21 hopefully soon. Not 100% sure. Uh, but here's the thing. I'm possibly getting a PC soon. So... Will that slow down some of the content for, like, other games like Madden 20, like roster updates on Madden 20? Possibly. Um, it, it really just depends on how well those videos keep doing. If those videos keep going nuts, I'll keep making them. But if they slow down and if they don't aren't, you know, helping my channel as much, I might have to go to something else and hopefully uh, go through that. Now, on to the rebuild. Uh, so far... Like I said, this is season four that we're going into. We've made some pretty big trades. Not a whole ton of people from the actual Patriots roster is still here. Nikhil Harry's technically here, but we brought him back. Um, Chase Winovic is here, but he's old. He's already 28 in the fourth season. That's something that people don't realize is he came out late while Rashawn Gary came out early. So uh, We did draft Terrence Marshall in the first year of the uh, Sim, we did bring in multiple running backs at this point, Josh Jacobs, Jonathan Taylor, Le'Veon Bell, we brought in Tack McKinley in one of our first years, Ioannidis in another year, Brooks and Galloway were both signees, Simmons was a trade, we're going to sign Jonathan Taylor, he's just going to come back as a backup running back, um, we had the money, I didn't mind doing it, so, you know, uh, Josh Jacobs did have a, an attempt at Superstar X Factor, he did not get it. I didn't feel like hopping in. Michael Owenu uh, is re-signed with the team. He's one of the best offensive linemen we have. Got to bring him back. It's pretty cheap, only about six a year for the first like two or three years. We're going to bring back Terrell Burgess, but Jordan Brooks was really expensive. Uh, so we traded him in a fifth for Akeem Davis-Gaither in a first. It's a little bit of a downgrade, but the price of, in money chain was so substantial. Substantial. Uh, if you guys were wondering, it wanted me to pay Jordan Brooks like $17.5 million a year because he was an outside backer and he was an 84, basically, I think with more row when I was trying to re-sign him. Here's the thing. He's not an edge rusher, so he's not worth that much money as an 84 overall. It Because here's the thing. You have players like Khalil Mack. You have players like uh, the Smith. You have players like TJ Watt. You have all these edge rushers listed as outside backers, which then influences the price of stand-up outside backers to above their pay grade. Whereas if they're technically considered a middle linebacker, they make considerably less. And it's not just because their overall drops one or two points. It's because they're considered, an out, they're considered a stand-up linebacker at that point. And so I should have probably looked at that beforehand and been like, hey, I technically moved him to middle linebacker and signed him he what I did increase his ratings real quick up to a 84 again and then signed him to correct over all that stuff that's something I should have done but nonetheless uh our pass attack has not been good it really hasn't ever since I took over this team 
We just can't get pressure. Like, Chase Winovic was starting edge rusher, and he only got one sack all season. At least I think he was. Um, Gary didn't do good. Barnett, Cox, Ioannidis. Here's the thing. If I'm paying you big money, I need you to perform. I can keep a guy on rookie contract, and I can be like, well, he's still low overall, or he's still on his rookie contract. But if I'm paying you big money, you have to perform for me. And if you don't, I have to get rid of you. And that's just something that bothers me with uh, pass rush. Is how bad they are. It never seems to work out correctly. Will Lutz, pretty good. 92% from extra point. 86 for field goals. Uh, one blocked kick overall. So, Jake Bailey, an okay year. 48.9 net average. And uh, one blocked kick. Josh Jacobs with a kickoff return touchdown, 96 yards. So his slow ass decided to take it back to the house. That's perfectly fine with me if his slow ass wants to. Uh, and I'm not saying he's slow compared to me or anything. He's just slow as a running back, it seems like. At least a starting running back in this league. Um, MVP, nobody for us. Kind of sucks not getting an MVP in there. Uh, we're not going to be in coach of the year because we didn't make the playoffs. Nobody in there for offensive player of the year. Isaiah Simmons at two for defense player of the year. Offensive rookie of the year. I don't think we had any rookies on the offense. No, it does not look like it. Um, And Wilkerson at eight for defensive rookie of the year. Uh, We do end up trading Barnett. He dropped in two two overall. He just isn't a power rusher. I don't need him. I can't be paying him nine mil. We're going to trade him to the Packers. Trading Ioannidis and Winovich in a seventh. For two first and a second to the Saints. Uh, Winovich, like I said, he was 28 at, the, I think at the end, or he was 29 at the end of this season. So some of the things I'm bringing in is trying to go get Cam Jordan, uh, Damian Lewis, Nick Harris, Epineza, Fuller, Matt Eubike, uh Sheldon Richardson, and Antonio Gibson. Uh, all these guys. Very good. I'm only going after two very much. It's the running back and Cam Jordan, so Gibson and Jordan. We're going to pick up uh, Wilson's fifth-year option. We did get Jordan. We did sign signed back AJ. Uh, not AJ. Jake Bailey. Got AJ Epineza, Wanham, Lewis, Phillips, and another player. We do end up trading two first just to go up. I probably could have used a little less trade bait to go up that many picks, but I just wanted to get it done. This is the huge trade. Pick 6, 21, and Anton, uh, Anthony Walker Jr. for Miles Garrett. This is the first time I've ever traded for him. I've never really had the like need to go trade for him. And then we're going to continue to trade up, get some more picks. Uh, pick 38, 117, and 102 for pick number 32 in this class. And then pick 32, 14, and Emmanuel Mosley goes and gets me Saquon Barkley. I needed it. I needed an all-around back. Here's the thing in Madden. You can have a good running back, good power back, and a good receiving back. You can. But it does hurt their averages just a little bit and their touchdowns. Whereas if you have a three-way back, kind of like Barkley, kind of like Kamara, kind of like some of those guys, you can become substantially better. We do end up trading two seconds and a sixth for a first and a third of next year from the Chiefs. So... Just getting some value back. Sean Lambert, uh, 6'5", 258, 23 years old. Power rusher out of Auburn, 72 overall. We took him at, uh, I think that was like 60s. He was 17 in the class. Took James Martin here, 54 in the class. Took him at 166. He's a 70 overall. Run, fullback. Good value for where we took him. A 6, 7, and a 6 for a 4 of next year from the Seahawks. I just pick a team at random whenever I do this. Uh, it just helps. You know, I'm not just going to go through and try to figure out who was the worst team. Like, I just go through and just fucking pick a random team. So, with our three picks, we did very, decently well. Hopefully, the safety actually turns out to be decent. Um, every time we take a safety, they just don't develop. You can go back and look at any of the safeties we've drafted so far, and you can just see that. James Martin, fullback, number 82. Made him look like a fucking beast. Uh, Sean Lambert, right end. He's going to be wearing 50, so he's going to be taking Chase. No. He's going to be taking, I think, Rashawn Gary's number 
and Chase Winovic and Rashawn Gary's going to 52. Tack McKinley, he just didn't develop correctly. So two firsts, one one of the next year, one of the year after that. For some more picks, we're going to trade two picks and Auden Tate for Roquan Smith. It's automatically upgrade our linebacking core. We don't have to worry about Akeem Davis Gaither. Uh, Daly and a first for Jayon Brown. Now you may be saying, what are you doing with Galloway or what are you doing with Simmons? Simmons is actually moving back to safety now. He's going to take over at safety. Monte Johnson is going to be running alongside of him. Number 23 out of Texas Tech, free safety. I think he's like six foot two, 203. So looking nice. So Terrell Burgess, Wanham, and Griffin all being traded for two first round picks to the Ravens. Burgess had no cap penalty, so I didn't mind doing that. Two first. Number 26 and number 27 up to number 12 from the football team. Making some more big trades here. 25, 28, and a 7th round pick for pick number 6 from the Bears. Working with them once again. Pick 19, 38, and 107 for pick 5 from the Broncos. And I think this is where the big trade comes in again. No, pick 12, 51, and 38 for pick 2 here. I had to trade up a lot to try to go get some of these guys. Um, pick 6, 25, and 70 for pick 1 from the 49ers. And here we go. This should be the last trade. 1, 2, and 5 for A.J. Brown. Yeah, not that exciting. I was going after DK. DK was a 99. If you guys like my content all, I would appreciate a subscription. If you guys like, comment, and subscribe, I will know to do more of this content. With that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace. Lost updates soon.